come to our attention that there may be a fatal flaw with your DJI 04 Pro Air unit system and possibly the light version. Now, we want to follow up on some of that information with a couple different ways that you can fix yours, add strength to it. There is an issue where the UFL connector, where the base of the UFL connector connects to the PCB on the DJI 04 is lightly resting on top of the solder and not encased inside the solder. Now, in times past with UFL connectors, I've had the same type of problems with other analog VTXs where the UFL connector popped off after there was some light stress applied to the antenna itself, pulling on that cable that connects to your VTX. Now, that's been an issue for years, and I, I really wish that DJI... When they first came out with this version, it would have been nice if they would use something a little more robust, like the MMCX connector would be great, but we don't have that. We have the UFL connector on here. So if you are someone who just bought a DJI 04 Pro or the light version, we're going to open this up and I'm going to show you where the connections apply to the PCB, uh, what you can do to fix that really quickly in this video, as well as some alternatives for people that don't want to just touch this uh, or solder it themselves. Now, it you know some of you guys may be asking, if, if I touch this, if I open this up and I reapply solder to anything on this PCB, does that void my warranty on this particular unit with DJI? Possibly. So uh, if you do open this up and add solder to this board, uh, that's the question for a lot of people. There are people that have broke these and have sent them back to DJI for replacement uh, or repair. So, you know, that is totally up to your discretion. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump over to the bench and let me open this up and let me show you where the UFL connectors connect. We'll see if mine is floating or encased inside the solder. And I'll give you a few different stages of repair or strengthening that you can do so that maybe yours don't pop off your DJI 04 and uh, cause a, a permanently unrepairable situation to occur should that antenna get pulled in a crash. Here we go. Now, since at this point you're not worried about voiding your warranty and you are going to follow through with this, go ahead and grab a two millimeter driver and remove the four screws on the bottom of the Air Unit Pro. Once you do that, we're going to move that to the side and you're going to remove the two antennas off of the UFL connectors here. While you're removing that bottom plate, be sure that you don't disconnect this ribbon cable connecting it to the main board. Now let's go ahead and zoom into the two UFL connectors right here. If you don't know what those are, you're brand new to my channel. They are these two little tabs right here. They have sort of a circular uh, spot here with a little connector in the center, which makes contact for signal. If you inspect yours really closely and you see that these tabs on both of these UFLs are above where the solder is, meaning they're just resting on the solder, that can be an issue and they could pop off really easily. So what's important for you to do right now that you've opened yours up is just go ahead and inspect that the solder from the factory is over top of the tab on both sides of each connector. Uh, you're going to have to zoom into it pretty closely with some type of uh, either a cell phone, magnifying glass, or a microscope. And once you get in close, you can see that mine here actually have from the factory solder over top of the tab. So just giving it a little bit of a push, uh, I noticed that they are connected quite securely. And now I don't have to do any extra solder on the side of the tabs. If yours are floating on top of the solder, then you may need to put some solder over top of that and make sure that it's securely fastened down to the board. Now you want to be extra careful in here that you don't damage any of these other components. Uh, you know, you don't want to burn this ribbon cable right here. It's extremely close to both of these. So the first order of uh, strengthening both of these would be to add some extra solder. But if you see that yours look like mine and they are covered up from the factory, just leave them the way they are. Don't touch them. Don't do anything. Put the UFL connectors back on from your antennas and close up your air unit and secure it back to your quad. 
when you're putting the antennas back on the UFL connectors, you want to be super careful and make sure that they are flush with the board. You should hear a slight, uh, feel a slight snap when you do press them down with your thumb and it just makes sure they are absolutely flat and connected to the base plate. If that's not the case, it may pop off and cause a real issue with uh, maybe causing a short somewhere on your board. So you want to make sure that they are connected, that they move slightly. And after that, you can go ahead and press this top tab down on top of them, and that will hold them in place. And I'll also show you another way that you can possibly add some strength to these if you do not want to use soldering iron. Now, if you quickly want to add some additional strength to these UFL connectors where they connect to the board and you're not worried about risking your warranty or you're not worried about kind of removing them or having to remove them again, you can use some hot glue on top of these two UFL connects, a very slight, small piece of hot glue there just to hold them in place so they don't turn back and forth or move. That is going to be something that I'm going to leave up to you because some people claim that when they pull hot glue off of a flight controller, it can sometimes pull chips off. In my case, I haven't had that problem. I have used hot glue on VTXs and flight controllers over the past 11 years on my channel. Uh, but again, everything in this hobby is at your own discretion. So some people love this method. Some people hate this method. So this is just one more method to be really carefully give your UFL connectors a little more strength uh, should they get pulled during a crash. Now, the final option outside of the, the two hardest ones that I've shown you by opening up the VTX, if you are the kind of guy you're brand new to this hobby, you really don't want to take your quad apart, take the VTX off your quad. You just bought a brand new DJI 04. One of the ways that you can do this to secure the antennas, additional security, is to go ahead and add some zip ties around the base of your antenna where it connects to the back connector on your quad. Now, if you are flying something as small as uh, this version with the UFL connector on the side here, you could simply just add a little dab of hot glue over this connector uh, and just make sure that it stays nice and tight to the board. If there is a hardcore crash and that pops off, Again, you're taking the risk that that hot glue could damage something in here, but there's already quite a bit of um, some adhesive here. It looks like it might be some type of thermal type of adhesive. But if you do that, again, to your own risk. Now, the zip tie method can work on some quads, on larger quads, like three, five, seven inch quads. Uh, this one in particular, this is the Vapor D6. What I would have to do here is uh, I would actually have to make a hole through this TPU and come around and secure this antenna inside this uh, connection point right here, uh, making sure that, again, I take this apart and make a nice solid hole through this. Uh, there's not a whole lot of collar above it here, as you can see right here which is unfortunate, but uh, that is definitely the last and final and easiest way to give your antenna some extra strength. If you do crash, these antennas are going to get pulled. It's just a, a part of FPV. And again, here is the 04 Air Unit Pro box that I purchased. This was the retail version that we purchased with the Patreon money. And yeah, it seems that this version did not have that floating UFL issue to it. So uh, yeah, go ahead and open yours up and make sure that yours is not floating on top of the solder. If you're comfortable with it, add some more solder to it very carefully so that you don't destroy your 04. Uh, but yeah, we just wanted to make a follow-up video to this because I think there's some easier solutions out there than possibly doing some soldering down to the connector on the 04 board. Um, that will be for more advanced folks and also folks who don't mind voiding their warranty. Uh, that is an option. You can do that. You can also put a little hot glue there. You can also just zip tie your antennas on. There's a bunch of different ways you could just add a little extra strength to your antennas going to your VTX. So I leave that up to you. That's why it is a DIY hobby uh, because we do all things here DIY and we leave it up to you. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Is this a fatal flaw for the DJI 04 in 2025? Yet to be determined. Guys, take care. I'm Justin Davis. I will see you on the next one.